Okay, hi, Jordan here today again. I'm here to show you this look. Blue metallic halo eye, slate gray lip, champagne highlight. No blush because I just feel like it just didn't go with this look. I like it better this way, personally. Serving you looks all the time. <laughs> Okay, now on to the tutorial. Hello, now we're gonna start this look. My eyes are already primed with the NYX HD concealer and medium, and then like a bone creamy white kind of color eyeshadow setting it on top. First, we're gonna start on this crease with my Kat Von D shade and light palette. Um, I'm gonna use this peachy color right here as my first transition. And just put that all up in there. I'm just going to take these two cooler colors right over here. Just mix them a little bit. Now I'm just going to mix that, this white color and this peach color for my brow bone to smooth everything out and blend it down. I think we can darken the crease up just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just take a tiny bit of this brown color right here, this cool brown, and just darken up my crease with that. Just a tiny bit. Looking better. I like that a little bit more. Yeah, that's a lot better. I like that now. Morphe 35D palette. It looks like this. I'm just going to take this really dark blue matte shade right here. I'm going to put that on my inner and outer third of my eyeballs. With this little fluffy Morphe brush. It. I'm just going to lightly blend these two together in the crease, just a tiny bit. Now I'm going to add some more blue. Just that same blue on the same parts because we lost a little bit of that pigment when we blended it out. Now, from the same 35D palette, I'm just going to take this, like, bright metallic blue here in the middle and just put that all over the middle of our eyelids. Okay, now we're going to take this Sigma Short Shader a 20 brush and go in with that cool brown that we used before on our lower lash line. I'm going to use this um, Royal Blue Eyeliner by Kiko Milano in the color 4. And just, oh, this needs to be sharpened. It's going to cut my eyeballs. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to use this black eyeliner by Kiko Milano 
in the color 6 and line my lower lash line with that. And I'm just going to go on top and tight line. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner right here, the black one, and do a thin line across the top just to define my lashes. Wow, my eyeliner was successful today. I'm so happy about this. Now I'm just going to take my It Cosmetics Hello Lashes and just put on some mascara. And now the lower lashes. So, one eye done. And I'm just gonna do the other eye really quickly off camera and then come back to do the face. Okay, we are back. Both eyes are done. I just changed it up a little bit. I just brought I just made the brown darker and brought it a lot lower because this eye was not cooperating. But we worked with it. We made it through. We made it work. Like always. Now we're just going to do the whole face. Going to take my Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. It's just clear. Nothing special. I'm just going to rub that all over my face. Okay, now I'm just going to take my foundation, L'Oreal True Match, in W7 and do my foundation. Ooh, that's a little too much foundation. Let me just put that back inside. There is no wasting over here. plain now we're just correcting our mistakes under our eyes a little bit with that foundation it'll be perfect once we use our concealer to completely clean it up okay the base is finished now I'm just gonna highlight with some concealer I just love how the eyes turned out like this <gasps> it looks a little different you know why because this side doesn't have eyeliner and this one does. Just gonna add that eyeliner in real quick. It just it just looks so much more together. Ugh. Itchy, 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 itchy. That's why I scratch my face when I have makeup on. I'm gonna take my NYX Conceal Correct and Contour palette in deep, like always. The only time I'll get a new thing to highlight with is when I run out of this. So I'm just going to use that straight up yellow. Because I find that like this um, light brown, not that one, this one. This light brown shade right here isn't as bright as I want things to be. So I just use the straight up yellow. It might seem a little extreme, but it works. It works. When you first use these, like, these might be like, a little bit hard and hard to work with but if you just like by mistake one day I pushed my finger in it really hard and it just caved in and like then everything was super creamy and I was like why wasn't it like this every day so yeah just be a beast when you're putting your finger in it and then it'll be creamy forever oh yeah 
I can feel the brightness coming. Okay. Ta-da! Look how just more bright and awake that looks like. Good morning, good night. Like, this is just so more pronounced and defined compared to this side. Just like, who even is this side of my face? This is where the party's at. Right here. Just gonna take a tiny bit of that on my nose. Tiny bit on my chin. And a tiny bit on my forehead. Okay, now I'm just going to powder the whole thing. I'm going to use my NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder in medium dark. I'm starting to, oh shit. I'm starting to finish and I'm so proud. I can't wait to try something new. I just pat the powder on my oilier areas. So I feel like that just really makes the powder like force its way in and keep me matte. Okay. Now I'm just gonna bronze up the skin. I'm just gonna use this angled powder brush and this black radiance face powder and warm hazelnut. Just one, two, three. And go to work. Just go all around the face and just carve that shit out. Okay. Nice and chiseled. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to take my Benefit What's Up, my cream highlighter, and just paste that on my cheeks as my base for my powder highlight. Just a tiny bit on my chin. Blend it out. A tiny bit on my nose. Now I'm just going to put on my highlight with my Morphe Fan Brush and my Tarte Highlighter in Champagne. And just dust that on.
<gasps> How did I forget to blend these out? Like, look at that. Like, whole finger stamps. Who am I? <laughs> Now back to usual. What do you want? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Your makeup. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna spray my whole face. With my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Shake that up. And just I love my face is nice and wet. Just gonna fan dry it. Oh, y'all catch that highlight? Okay, now I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows with a random spoolie. Now I'm going to take this NYX Liquid Suede lipstick in Stone Fox right here, this blue-gray color. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to put this on. I love these because the wand is very long, so it's perfect to just like cover my whole lip in one swipe because I got big lips. What I want to say. Instead of doing like a really bold gray lip like this, you could do more of like a, a warm peachy nude like Aries by Ofra. That would have gone perfectly with this look too. But I wanted this today because I wanted to be extra bold. I hope you like this look and thank you for watching. Bye.